Happy Monday, everybody, again. <laughs> I'm getting ready to fry a ribeye steak and uh, have it with my green pea salad. So, let me let you see. I'm just going to season the steak up. I've already got some butter and extra virgin olive oil getting hot. So we want to hurry up and do this. Here we go. Always shake up your Worcestershire. It's always some, some that's settled on the bottom. And we're just going to do a little Worcestershire sauce. A little salt. And taste it. And black pepper. That's it. Rub that around a little bit. It's still kind of frozen. Turn it over. I smell my butter. So it's good and hot already. Just slide it off a little bit. While we get this side done. Okay. Not that much. It won't be long at all, y'all. Nope. Put it back on the heat. Set them in here. And just fit to them for the rest of my seasoning on this. There we go. Turn it down a bit. And that's nothing to it but to do it. And it's not going to take that long to crack because I don't like my steak. Well done at all. Okay. And that's that. Got my hand. I gotta get heavy food ready. There we go. Have them both. Got mommy to get your food ready. There we go. I'll pop them on the counter. This away. Okay. That. In case then, if you missed the little video I did before, this one, I was asking for help. Because I've been trying to go live, but nobody's coming in to talk to me. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but I did it the same way I did it the last time, I think. So, if anybody has any advice on how I should do it, please let me know. Because I love talking live to you guys. So, please let me know. And while we sitting here talking, I'm going to get heavy food together right quick because the steak is going to be real fast. And grab my green pizza out of here. And that's all I'm having for dinner. I remember that from yesterday. Okay. Tablespoon. I feed him that hill science diet and put a little fresh pet. Uh, I was feeding them just fresh pet and they did have chunks of beef in there, but not anymore. So in order for me to get his diet together, I'm not going to eat it if there's no meat. Just like the rest of the Stevens family. 
He likes meat. So I give him like some hill science and then make sure that his food is airtight. Squeeze all that air out of there. There we go. And then I'll put a little fresh pet and mix it in there. Now I'll be the cook and have the food. <laughs> This bed is vast, is, um, but I learned something about that too. I've been going to the vet down the hill science. I've learned if I grow the pet coat. I think it's pet coat or Amazon, one of them. I can get 20% off. At the bed, I'll just get 5% off. So. I'll just crush it some up in there. It looks like enough for him. And he can eat to be another dog. But first, we can get that in there and wash my hands. Yeah, it's Flip it over. The grill looks thin and stick too, y'all. Uh, watch this. Let me turn it up so I'm going to get charged quick. Uh, okay. Mix that on in there with the hill science. That's not enough. I had me hungry. I've been chewing on that old bone of his. Jerky, uh, uh, green for his teeth and breath, and he loves those bacon bacon strips. He gets that. And then I'll fix him his dinner. And then she gets his dessert, which is his animal crackers. I give him three of those. But like tonight, and yet yeah, like uh, last night, that's not enough for the ham ball. Let's see, he's full. Steak is done. It's thin, but it's way over half a pound of meat. Just cut thin. Well, I'm not going to cook it long. Let's get this stirred up here. Real good for my baby. Now, it looks like a heavy portion. Go ham ball. Now I'm doing with him. Here we go. Put the food up. Make sure it's 
sure I don't have any air in this room. Try to keep the container as dry as possible. Go. I forgot to go get water today. I forgot to get water out of my truck. There we go. Of course, clean up my counter. You don't have any food on the counter. Okay, that's that. Rest, I'll clean up my calendar. Get my green pea salad. I tried to get up all the water because water on your counter and all that is just little puddles for germs. So I get all that mess up. And that's that. So I'm going to use my. Let me get my fork. In my skillet, I'm going to put over here. So some green pea salad. Mom got your food ready, hand. Put some in this cup. My my children got when they were small. I would have to get those picnic plates with the sections because none of their food could touch. And I used to be tripped out about it. Then I realized where they got it from. <laughs> I don't like my food to touch either. There we go. And I still, I gave my neighbor some cake. She just texted me right before I started recording to tell me it was delicious. I bet she didn't give her husband any. She always used the excuse, he's, he's diabetic and his blood sugar is up. <laughs> I bet that's a uh, cream cheese pound cake one Sunday. And I gave her half of it, over half. And a couple days later, I said, Betty, did you like the cheesecake? She said, girl, I love that cheesecake. I said, how did Mike like? She said, I ain't give him love. <laughs> I said, Betty, I gave y'all half of that cheesecake. She said, I know. I said, you didn't share it with Mike. She said, no, he don't need his blood sugar up. <laughs> Sharpen my knife. 
Because I know that stick is not tough. Get rid of this, throw in the garbage. I had put new batteries in my garbage to stop opening for me. So I had to take care of that today. Whew. I need to sharpen my knife a little bit. So let's do that. What kind of knife sharpeners you guys use? This is really good. gets the job done. I'm going to tell you the best thing to do. Find you a clean brick. That's what my father always used. And it do the best job of any of them, probably. I know it did a great job for my dad. And I used to use a brick. steak too. Don't want that bone. Okay, that's pretty good. Now you gotta clean it off. See that it came off. That's the uh, concrete in there. That in there. Clean that. Test out this steak, y'all. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. I'm sure you can see what I'm doing here. See that, okay. Ham, you want to come in the kitchen, Mom? Ham, Ham, eat, Mom. Eat, Mom. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this piece I'm about to receive. Amen. Let's see what we got here, y'all. We know about the green pea salad. Mm -hmm. But it's so much better now than it was yesterday. It really is. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, See how thin the steak is. That's why I didn't want to cook it that long. And I still got it medium in the, in the middle. Let's 
see how it's still medium. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. I might as well sit here and cut his bone off. Now he definitely will be looking for it. Mmm, that's delicious, y'all. And I won't eat all this meat. I thought I'd get up in the morning, fry some eggs. And have it with some eggs. Oh, I see there's some silver skin under there. That's tough to cut. And we're not gonna get all that meat. There's a lot of meat on this ball. Lot. We can have the rest. Mm hmm. Excuse me. Yes, it's that good. You eat your food, Ham. Ham, eat, eat his food. Ham, smell the steak. You know, I don't want to finish his food. But he better. That's the only way he get his bone if he eat his food. Really good, y'all. Mm. I told you, the green pea salad complements just about any and everything, because it's definitely complementing this steak. And don't forget, guys. I'm, I don't know what I'm doing wrong because I've been trying to go live. I'm, I like going live way more than cooking. I like both, but I really love talking to you guys. So let me know if I'm doing something wrong. What I do, I go to YouTube, click on the, um, the um, button with the cross in it, and I click on go live. Then I tell them, Denise, I mean, Queen D goes live. I click on that and I click on public. And nothing happened. But I, I bring the screen down and I see myself, I start talking. But I don't see anybody talking back to me. So I figure I'm doing something wrong. So let me know what I'm doing wrong. And also, let me know if you know anything about getting monetized. Because I do have 6,100, over 6,100 watch hours. Now, is it true that Google will let you know when you are to be monetized or what? Can you get monetized yourself? Please let me know. I really would appreciate it. And with that being said, I want to thank you guys for watching. I love you for watching. And please come back and let me know relatively soon about the going live. Because I love going live. It's so much fun. And I love talking to you guys. And until then, God bless you all.
and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.